The moon is about 3 to 4,400 kilometers away. The sun sits roughly 150 million kilometers from us. And our nearest galactic neighbor, the Andromeda galaxy, is a staggering 2.5 million light years away. But how do we actually know these numbers? Nobody ever took a measuring tape to space. In this series, we will explore how astronomers calculate distances across the universe from the planet cruise by to the galaxies millions of light years away. Over time, scientists have developed a different method to measure these vast distances. And since each method requires its own unique explanation, we are creating separate videos dedicated to each concept. In this one, we will cover the first and the oldest method ever used, one that began with something incredibly simple, geometry. The story starts in 17th century, an age when telescopes were new and the idea of sun-centered solar system was gaining grounds. By this time, Copernicus had placed the sun at the center, Kepler had described planetary motion with his laws, and Galileo had confirmed that planets weren't unique. Moons orbited Jupiter too, but no one knew the actual size of solar system. How far was the Mars or the Sun? In 1672, two astronomers, Giovanni Cassini in Paris and Jean Richard in French Geneva, set out to find out using nothing but careful observation and mathematics. They chose Mars because it's visible to the naked eye and regularly comes close to Earth. Every two years, Mars appears directly opposite the Sun in our sky, a moment called opposition. That's when the Earth sits between Mars and the Sun, making Mars the brightest and the closest to us. Using Kepler's third law, astronomers already knew Mars' orbit was about 1.5 times larger than Earth's. So, if they could find the distance to Mars, they could also find the distance between Earth and the Sun. Cassini and Richer observed Mars at the same time from two far apart locations, each recorded where Mars appeared relative to background stars. And yes, from those two points, Mars appeared to shift slightly. That tiny apparent movement is called parallax. By knowing the baseline distance between the observations and two weaving angles, they could form a triangle in space. With a simple trigonometry, they calculated Mars's distance. It was the first time humans measured another world's distance using math alone. Once they knew Mars's distance and how much larger its orbit was compared to Earth's, Cassini could compute the distance from Earth to the Sun, the astronomical unit or 1 AU. His estimate came out to around 140 million kilometers, astonishingly close to the modern value of 1 49.6 million kilometers, that single number became the measuring stake of the entire solar system, the first true scale of space ever established. With the sun's distance known, astronomers could go even further to the stars. Instead of two points on Earth, they used Earth's orbit as a baseline. By observing the same star six months apart, once from one side of the sun and again from the other, they effectively created a baseline of 300 million kilometers. That method is called stellar parallax and was first successfully used by Friedrich Basel in 1838, who measured the distance to the star 61 Cygni, about 10 light years away. But even with that clever trick, the apparent shift for the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is only 0.77 arc second, less than the width of human hair seen from kilometers away. For more distant stars, the angle becomes too tiny to measure from ground. That's why astronomers later developed new tools using brightness of stars, the light they emit, and eventually the redshift of galaxies to measure the distances stretching billions of light years. Yet, it all began with the triangle, a telescope, and a question, how far away is Mars? And it's amazing to think that the same geometry we learn in school helped humanity measure the scale of the cosmos, from two points on Earth to the edge of the universe. It all started with curiosity and a bit of clever math. If you found this fascinating, hit that like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video where we will explore how light itself becomes the ultimate cosmic ruler. And if you have an interesting fact, please let us know in the comments.